Malaw sa kanimo. Kinutlogi kan sa Santos ng Ebanghelyo, sumala ni San Mateo. Himayaw ikaw, O Gino. Si Jesus mingon sa iyang mga tinunan, Nakadungog usab kamo nga giingna ng atong katigulangan kaniadto. Ayaw pakyasa ang imong panaad, kundili tumana ang imong gipanumpa sa Ginoo nga imong buhaton. Apan karon, sutihan ko kamo. Ayaw gayud panumpa kun ikaw manaad. Ayaw panumpa sa langit, kay ang langit mao ang trono sa Dios. Ni sa yuta, kay ang yuta mao may iyang tumbanan. Ni sa Jerusalem kay kini mao ang siyudad sa halandong hari. Ayaw kamo panumpa bisan gani sa inyong ulo kay dili man kamo makapaputi o makapaitom sa usa ka lugas nga buhok. Ing nalamang oo o dili kay kon may mukapin paniini kana gikan na sa yawa. Mga igsuon ang ebanghelyo sa atong Ginoo. Dayon ni Pao Cristo. Mayong buntag ka natong tanan. Mayong buntag ka natong I would like to focus my sharing ikan sa atong unang pagbasa. Padayon kita sa pagpamalandong o pagbasa from the first book of Kings. Bahin gihapon kang Elisa o Elijah o kang Eliseo. Elijah and uh, Elisha. Unya karong adlaw sa mga igsuon, we are celebrating one of the most popular and one of the most loved saints, San Antonio de Padua. Dako kayo ang debosyon sa akong lola kang San Antonio o sa akong mama, ug mao naginganlan ko nilag Antonio. Ako ngan kay Randolph Antonio, no may buong sila. Pero dili kay ni nako gamiton, but I have also a great devotion to Saint Antonio. Sa tong first reading from the first book of Kings, we are still reading in chapter 19. Din he, it is related how prophet Elijah sought out Elisha and anoints him to become his helper and to become his successor. Gahapon in our reading, atong nakita no sa kinabuhi ni prophet Elijah one of his lowest moments nga human nga he was triumphant no in mount carmel he became a hero but after hearing nga si queen jezebel wants to kill him he runs away he hides and he retreats very far he travels 40 days and 40 nights and he goes to mount horeb that's 420 kilometers away no if you have to walk no from uh, Pogo to Santander no that's only about 300 kilometers so it's still farther siguro maabot na kaanag Bacolod City no you go to the place of Sister Claudia very far yeah imagine no maglakaw ra ka gikan ka sa Pogo ani adto kag Bacolod he traveled so far no according to scripture 40 days and 40 nights that is how no he was so desperate to run away one of his most lowest moments but there he experienced god in a very special way in a very intimate way no not in the wind not in the earth, earthquake but in a gentle breeze in other words in silence and in prayer and from the strength of this experience god sends him now once more to fulfill his prophetic role with more faith and with more courage. And the first thing that he does, you know, the first thing you know, that God tells him to do is to seek out Elisha and to anoint him. Huwag mo niyang atong gibasa ka ron na iyang na nakitaan si Eliseo. He sees him si, and uh, nakitaan niya nga usas siya ka mag-uuma. Niya nagdaro siya. No niya siya ang pagdaro, ang iyang gigamit nga baka, dili lang usa sister, 12 kabuok, 12 kabuok baka, dato yung tingnan niya nga pagka, kuan, no, pagka 
mag-uuma. No? He, he, he must have been a rich um, farmer. No? Liman kasi ang pagdaro na ang dosi kabuok. No? He was a well-off um, farmer and kung siya gibuhat, no? just to give him a sign no? that, he wa- that he has a new vocation, gisuluban siya o kapa. And that was the signal no, that he will have to change career. No, from being sa usa ka mag-uuma, from a farmer, he will now become a prophet. And what did what did he do? He pa ni pauli usan siya, he goes home to bid his family goodbye and to break off from his former life. Iyang gipang patay ang iyang mga baka. O iyang gisugnod no ang iyang mga ang gamit mga galamit galamiton sa pag-uuma and he now follows Elisha to become a prophet brothers and sisters this Elijah Elisha tandem can also be seen in the Francis and Anthony tandem master and disciple Francis from Italy had a personal experience of God calling him commanding him Francis rebuild my church because it needs repair of course he realized no it was not the physical church but really the spiritual church Francis would ignite a spiritual renewal to return to the fundamental Christian ideals of love and humility and this spiritual renewal would also be felt by Anthony no, when he was a young Augustinian priest in Portugal. One day, no, in Portugal, in Coimbra, Portugal, where Anthony was residing, six Franciscan missionaries dropped by as guests no, in their convent. They were on their way to Morocco to become missionaries. And few months later, they returned. Dead. Patay na sila. Because they were martyred in Morocco. And that experience really moved young Francis. No, bisa na pari na siya niya panahuna. And he resolved, no, and he made a decision to transfer from being an Augustinian. He embraced the Franciscan vocation because he also wanted to die as a martyr. Unfortunately, when he reached Morocco, nasakit man siya, gipabalik siya, gipauli man siya. But he did not go back to Portugal, but he went to Italy. No, and there he met Francis in Assisi. And later on, no, he joined no, the Franciscans really, but he was no, a very humble priest. And he did not die a martyr because God has other plans for him. And what is the lesson for us here, brothers and sisters? Unless we experience God and we are convinced of His power, only then can we become effective witnesses. No, if God, if there is no God inside us, we cannot shine. And thanks to those missionaries that Anthony discovered his Franciscan vocation. But of course, he won't die as a martyr. God has other plans for him. And he will soon discover many gifts that he has. No example, he would discover that he would have a gift for preaching. No, he was a very eloquent preaching. No, and when he once he discovered his gift, he was sent by Francis no, to, to become a missionary, no, only of course in Italy. No, and he will be converting thousands. There was an, a story. No, he went to a city named Rimini. And because people did not like to listen to him, he went to the sea. And there he preached to the fish. No, and naminaw sa sila, sister, no? <laughs> yeah, they had no need to be baptized because they were already in the water. No, so even the fish listened to Francis, uh, sorry, to Anthony. No, that people who witnessed it no, were so shocked. No, that they came to flock to him and ask for his forgiveness. He was so popular that at one time, 30,000 people listened to him preaching. 
May yun anan siya ka maayo. The gift of eloquent preaching. And he will be the first Franciscan to teach theology to his converse. In fact, he is a doctor of the church. And the church calls him Dr. Evangelicus. No, or the evangelical doctor. No, because of the freshness no, of scripture that he would interpret. And he is known as a miracle worker in his life. By the way, he is patron of lost items and lost things. Now, if you lose something, invoke Saint Anthony. But I think not only things and items, he is also patron of lost people. Now, if you are, if you have lost someone, especially if they are spiritually lost, I think we can also invoke Saint Anthony. When he died, he was Santo Subito. No, he was saint immediately. He was declared a saint just one year after his death. Nindot kayo ang kinabuhi ni San Antonio di Padua. No, Padua no is in Italy. No, it's actually Padova. No, but in Spanish it's Padua. Brothers and sisters, there are three things we can learn from Saint Anthony's teachings. Number one, to trust in God. According to Saint Anthony, devotion to God is mightier than all else. He taught earthly riches are like reeds, and its roots are sunk in a swamp. Its exterior is fair to behold, but inside it is hollow, it is empty. And if a man leans on such a reed, it will snap off and pierce his soul. No, very beautiful words from Saint Anthony. No, he encourages us to trust in God. And number two, he says, without love, faith dies. No, the importance of love and charity. He said, charity is the soul of faith. It makes it alive, and without it, faith dies. No, without love, faith dies. And thirdly. Gratitude. No, Saint Anthony, San Antonio, would like us always to be grateful for everything we have. A tribute to God, he says, every good that you have received. If you are, if you take credit for something that does not belong to you, you will be guilty of theft. Murakonokog kawatan kung di ka magpasalamat sa ginoo. No, if you do not attribute. What you have and what you what, if you think no that what you you have belongs to you, no and you do not thank God, no murakono ka o kawatan no you are a thief a thief. Brothers and sisters, no these are the beautiful things we can learn from Saint Anthony, to trust God. Devotion to Him is mightier than anything else. Without love, faith dies. And gratitude in our life. Today, as we celebrate San Antonio, let us ask the Lord. No, that Saint Anthony today will help us. No, invoke him if you lose something, if you have lost some items. But most of all, no, let us turn to him. No, for someone who is lost, because he can be a guide to holiness. And today, we ask the Lord. No, to We thank the Lord for giving us Saint Anthony, no one of the most popular, one of the most loved, no saints, so that he can help us, he can be our guide, he can be our mentor, and he can be our he can he can help us, no, in our way to holiness. Amen.